The vault is open. Disney Plus just released, and with it came the first episode of seven new original series. So of course, me being me, I had to go and watch all of these new episodes. Here's what I thought. <laughs> Forky asks a question. I enjoyed this three minute episode of Ask Forky. It was about money and I'm taking two economics courses right now, so that really did help me to enjoy it some more, right? Another thing is that I am really into Toy Story. I've loved it my entire life, and so maybe I am a little biased, but I genuinely did find it funny, and I look forward to seeing what else Forky asks questions about. <laughs> High School Musical, the musical, the series, is a show that I was mildly excited for before the platform came out. And unfortunately, after watching this first episode, I can say that I feel like it's just not worth it. it I was looking for something unique and relatable in this series. Like, I am a theater kid, and I hoped to see something that I could understand. But maybe because they're just not portraying theater the way that it actually is in the real world, or maybe there are just so many other reasons, but I actually didn't enjoy it very much, and I can't say that I'll watch most of this season. I might watch a couple more episodes to see if maybe it gets better, but Honestly, I gotta say I was a little disappointed. Before Disney Plus came out, I had basically never heard of Encore. That could be for a number of reasons, probably just because I was more looking into the scripted series that were coming out rather than these unscripted ones. It might also be that there just wasn't a lot of advertising. I don't know. But I did feel like Encore was good. Not great, but good. I appreciated the show. I liked that it accurately portrayed musical theater, unlike other shows. And I will say, I probably will watch more episodes in the future. Maybe not every single week, but definitely will watch more in the future. Before I watched this episode, I had no idea who Jeff Goldblum was. Actually, I still don't know who he is. Um, and I probably won't look it up either, because it's just not really my thing. This episode wasn't bad. But I'm just not that into watching random National Geographic things that come out. So I probably will not watch more of this. Before I watched this first episode, I thought that I would not like this show. However, I was pleasantly surprised. It was actually pretty good. I don't expect to watch more of it, considering that it is aimed more towards kids than my demographic. But it did remind me of Bill Nye the Science Guy, other live-action kids TV shows, and I do think that it's good for a kid, just not for me. Pixar in real life. So this six-minute episode was pretty funny, but it did seem to last longer than it should have because I was kind of tired of it after the first two minutes. It seemed to me more of a YouTube thing than something that would actually be premiering on this Disney Plus service, but it was good enough that I probably will watch more in the future, considering that the episodes are short, and it might just be that I wasn't that interested in watching the Inside Out episode. And now for the main event, The Mandalorian. This Star Wars TV show is amazing. They do such a good job. It's got great world building. It definitely deserves all five Mickeys. Yeah, first episode did go a little bit slow, but it's also the first episode, so you can kind of expect it to be a little bit slower, since they did have to go through all the world building to introduce us to this new part of Star Wars that we have never seen before. It is so good. And honestly, The Mandalorian is probably the only new Disney Plus show that I will watch all the way through. Just because it's Star Wars. So that is my review of all the new Disney Plus original TV series. I will say that some of them are definitely better quality than others, for instance, The Mandalorian versus Ask Forky. The Mandalorian is clearly better because it has a much higher budget, it's much longer, fans obviously like it more, and so Disney put more money into it. And that is perfectly fine. Also, I don't think that any of the shows on here are necessarily bad, they're just not my thing, and that's also fine. So would I get Disney Plus just for these original series? No, I wouldn't. Would I get Disney Plus just for these original series and also the original movies that are on here? No. But Disney Plus does have access to basically every Disney movie ever made. 
It has access to lots of Fox movies. It has access to The Simpsons, which I personally don't actually care about watching, but I know that lots of people do. And so yeah, Disney Plus is worth the $7 a month because you get access to all those things. And what I personally want it for is to watch all of the Star Wars movies because those movies cost a lot to buy and a lot to rent online because they're in such demand, especially right now when episode nine is about to come out. Disney Plus is worth the money. I'm Jonah Angel and I approve this message.